hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Also, shout out to my new subscribers. Welcome, you guys. Um, so today, also, happy Memorial Day weekend, you guys. Happy Memorial Day weekend. We are discussing Married at First Sight because there's controversy, as usual. <laughs> there's always controversy, you guys. So... It was announced that this upcoming season, Devon Franklin is going to be one of the, quote, experts. However, he is getting a divorce from Megan Good, so people have questions in terms of, well, how can you have somebody that is getting a divorce on a show about couples getting married and having successful marriages? And my first thought before I even read this article was that, Likely the show was filmed while Devin was still married and probably sometime over the course of fil filming is when the divorce happened. But that's not to say that he wasn't possibly already separated right when he accepted the gig. But at least we he was still technically married at the time. Right. And, you know, at some point, you know, filed for divorce on the course of filming. So basically, they did an interview. They were asking, um, you know, Devon about this because a lot of people are reacting. A lot of people are reacting because a lot of people are frustrated with the show because the show is not what it used to be. And it seems like certain people are being, you know, paired with their opposites on purpose to cause drama for the show. And it's very toxic at times. So he says the following. Devon Franklin says he refuses to live in fear and shame after filing for divorce after, from Megan Good. On Thursday, the film producer took to Instagram to speak to his followers about him joining the upcoming season of Lifetime's Married at First Sight as an expert. Per Essence magazine, Franklin will join the show's regular television um, relationship advisors, Dr. Pepper Schwartz and Pastor Calvin Robertson. I don't think they're ever leaving the show, you guys. Dr. Pepper and, and, and Calvin, they're never leaving the show, you guys. Alongside fellow freshman expert Dr. Pia Holek, a celebrated psychotherapist with a specialty in sex and couples therapy, the foursome will spend the new season helping to provide guidance to the couples. As Franklin shared with his followers, he was approached to join the season before he filed for divorce from American Good in December 2021. See, you guys? He explained that after the filing was revealed, the show's production told him that didn't matter to them because they still felt like that he could help with their couples. I was going to tell them no because I felt shame and that voice in my head said, you're a failure. How can you help anybody save their marriage when yours didn't work out? He added that voice in my head also had me thinking about what people would say. Would people approve or disapprove? And then I had to ask myself, is this how I'm going to live the rest of my life? in fear about what people say and who are people anyway. So I went back to the Married at First Life Lifetime team and told them, yes, I'll still come. I refuse to live in fear or shame. And, you know, to live free and exceed your highest expectations, author went on to share that something powerful happened during filming, saying that he was able to use his trials and tribulations to help a couple successfully sort through their issues. A lot of times that voice in our head is our worst enemy. It tries to talk to us out of what God is trying to tell us, you know, and talk us into, he added. I was trying to get through this life perfect and without failure. And now I'm just living to get through it truthfully. And what I've learned about love and relationships can help someone. Then I am here for it. Franklin filed for divorce from Megan Good in December two, um, 2021 in L.A. courthouse. According to legal docs obtained by E.T., the date of the separation was listed as August 21st, 2021. And the reason he cited for the divorce was irreconcilable differences. The actress and Hollywood producer author got married on June 16th, 2012. They have no children together. They met on the set of their 2011 film, Jumping the Broom, and got engaged May 2012. In January, Good opened up about the divorce during a Twitter Spaces conversation, and the cast from Amazon Prime's videos Harlem, the 40-year-old actress, shared how she was handling the divorce process and healing from what she calls the most painful experience of her life. Throughout life, I've always approached relationships as an understanding that at some point they'll get to the place that they're going to, and then they'll be over. 
She said, I've always had an attitude like, all right, next chapter, we see what's next. And being okay with that and approaching what you give to somebody, what they give to you, sharing a moment in time in life that you'll never get back, regardless how it ends. In my situation right now, it's a little bit different because I thought that that would be the last time I would be doing that and I would be doing this with this person forever. Not everything makes sense to me right now but I trust God and I'm excited to see what's next act of life is going to be and what God had in store. And that's all I can really do. Even by doing that, I do have a gratitude, so much joy in my heart for these past 11 years that Devin and I have been together, good added, what he's given into my life, what I was able to give him, just everything. Every season, every single part of it has been incredible. Still, even with her optimism uh, for the future and putting her trust in God, in the process, no matter what it is, Good admits that she still is grieving her marriage and the bond she shared with Franklin. Still grieving, still hurt. It's going to be a long time, but at the end of the day, it has made God even more my lover and even more my husband and even brought our relationship to new depths and new heights. So I am in gratitude for that, she said. Season 15 of Married... Um, oh no, there is a typo, you guys. There is a typo in Entertainment Tonight's site, you guys. It says, well, I kid you not, it says season 15 of Married to Medicine premieres July 6th on Lifetime. You guys, you guys, this isn't Bravo. This is Married at First Sight. OMG, OMG, OMG. <laughs> you guys. No, this is, this is lazy reporting, you guys. This is lazy reporting. And Entertainment Tonight is usually a reputable source. And... I need to find out if this was an error on Essence's part or on ET Online's part because it's definitely not Married to Medicine, you guys. That show was on Bravo. This show is on Lifetime. Make it make sense. <laughs> what is going on? I totally even forgot what I was going to say. So as far as this goes, I presume that he was likely, you know, separated at the time when he was approached for the show, even though technically he was still legally married is kind of my takeaway. And basically, when he filed for a divorce, he was probably still, you know, on the fence of whether or not to join the show or what have you and felt a certain type of way if he should continue and then ultimately decided to proceed forward. But I get it. I get it. But the irony that people are upset about this, but you guys also accept relationship and marital advice from people on YouTube who also have been divorced or are going through a divorce or who are single or what have you or are having their own issues in their personal lives. But you look to them as relationship gurus. So at the same token, it's like on one hand, yes, you're currently getting a divorce and you're giving advice to couples who are trying to, you know, survive their marriage. <laughs> so um, it kind of seems a little backhand. But at the same token, if we look on YouTube, you guys, all of these men are trained to be relationship gurus. And for the most part, there's only a small percentage of them that actually can practice what they're preaching, actually can practice and say, hey, I've been happily married with kids. I can tell you how a guy thinks versus people like Devin Franklin, who's like, hey, I'm going through a divorce, but I'm going to give you guys marital advice, you guys. And here's the thing. It could also be beneficial, like the example that he gave in the article, which was he was able to help a couple that was going through things. Because as we see on Married at First Sight, usually is we see all of the drama. We see all the drama, all of the conflict, all of the issues with these couples. So maybe Devon told them something that, you know, might help them that didn't help his marriage or what have you is why he's getting the divorce. So I mean, we'll have to wait and see how this goes. I already know everybody's going to be on their high horse and everybody's going to be, you know, this isn't fair. This isn't, how can you be on a show about marriage and blah, 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 blah. But then it's the same token, look on YouTube, you guys. Look at how many men are claiming to be relationship experts. And ask yourself, out of all of those men, how many of them are in 
you know, committed relationships or happily married with kids? How many of them? What is the ratio? What is the percentage of that? But you guys will watch those channels in droves and, you know, seek their advice, seek their assistance in your love life and issues in your personal life and not question the fact this person has been through, you know, divorces. They have a terrible, you know, track record with relationships, but you still go to them. You still go to them for the advice, you guys. So on one hand, I understand the outrage. On another hand, it's like, okay, well, these are the same people that are going to YouTube, though, and asking people who do not have the expertise, who are not certified coaches or, you know, relationship experts, and you're going straight to them for advice, and you're not questioning their credentials or, you know, if they've been married or divorced or what have you, you don't care because you like the person, right? You like the person, there is some it factor to them that drew you to them, so then you ignore the fact that they may not be the best person to give advice about relationships or marriages, whether it's their looks, whether it's how they present themselves, whether it's however they do their content, that all goes out the window, even when their scandals are exposed, because you like the person. So I can't get on a high horse about Devon being on the show, even though he's technically divorced, because this is par for the course. This is what Married at First Sight probably preferred him to be divorced. <laughs> Because they set these couples up for failure, you guys. There is only one real couple per season that they genuinely, um, you know, set up for success. And everybody else is like, hey, we're going to give you the complete opposite of what you want. Because we want chaos. We want drama. We want conflict. And you guys can decide for yourselves whether or not you want to stay married after the eight weeks. But just know if you try to quit the show before that, you owe us 50 grand. So there's that. <laughs> but let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.